It is so vibrant and loud and freaky and... We're Isabelle and Flo and we've been traveling the world full time for two years. A few days ago we arrived in our 28th country, Japan. Regular. Guys, it's our next day here in Tokyo. What a stressful morning, I can tell you that. <laughs> We're running super late for our next sightseeing stop, which is Team Labs Planet. And we're quickly gonna have breakfast. We bought it at 7-Eleven. Just have breakfast here on this bench and then let's go. Oh, we're so in a rush. Filming this morning for our other food video took way too long. Then we had to clean our room because in our hotel it's mandatory that they clean your room every three days. And our room is so small that everything was a mess. Oh man. And now we have five minutes to go to Team Labs. And it's a 15 minute walk. Okay, let's get going. So many people in line. Wow, I didn't expect this. Team Lab Planets is an art exhibition where you walk barefoot, getting to feel different textures and sensations, including water. The experience was simply mind blowing, but see for yourself. much fun it's definitely worth the money never seen anything like it it's really cool i really recommend you do it as well whenever you're in tokyo i wish i could spend more time there but we don't have time we need to make our way to our sunset viewpoint that's why we are currently on a local bus making our way through busy tokyo as soon as you understand the system public transportation in japan is quite easy to use just have your Google Maps ready. It will tell you the exact line to your destination and which station entry and exit to use. We're always on the hunt for free activities in any city we visit. And the Metropolitan Government Building here in Tokyo is actually the only free viewpoint in all of Tokyo city. And not only do you have incredible views, almost 360 degrees, but there's also a piano standing here. And random strangers, <laughs> other tourists, walk up and play the piano and it's the most beautiful piece of music I've ever heard. It's incredible. We even got to see Mount Fuji for the very first time after the sun set. It just showed up in the skyline. Amazing. It's only day three out of six and our back and feet are killing us. I'm in so much pain, seriously. Me We've too. been walking so much. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> we still can't. have we still have two more um, spots for today. Today. Can you do it? Yeah, I have to. Okay. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> also called his alley and it looks so cool that's how i imagine japan to be i don't know why that's Maybe. how i imagine all of japan to look yeah. like <laughs> because of the lanterns i don't know but it looks so unique and cool in some restaurants in japan you're not allowed to wear perfume because people should enjoy their meal and if it smells like perfume they cannot smell the meal Second to last location of the day. Check. Let's move on to the last one. First impression, first impression. So cool. It is so vibrant and loud and freaky and... Amazing. 
This area of Tokyo is called Kabu Kicho and if you want the real Japan Tokyo vibe you need to come here. But what I need to do now is get home, take a shower and just lay in bed for the rest of the night. Oh and by the way I can't believe we saw uh, Godzilla come to life. Ain't that crazy? I'm absolutely flabbergasted about how quiet the city actually is, even in the center. I mean, there's some regular cars here and there, some motorbikes that you can hear, but most of the cars really are electric and it makes such a huge difference, especially compared to other big cities that we visited, Bangkok being the most recent example. Keep in mind that the sequence that you just saw was filmed with a microphone that really picks up all the noise there is. This is the first time that we're crossing the Shibuya crossing, the most busy, uh, the busiest crossing in the world. Guys, look what we found, a vending machine with fresh cake out of cans. How cool is that? I guess that's only something that you can find in Japan. I mean, look at this. We have one, two, six different flavors. Strawberry, chocolate. I mean, it's quite expensive. It's around $7 per can, but maybe it's a really nice cake. We're for sure gonna get one. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. Favorite dessert here in Japan so far. That oh, is sure. really good, but really expensive too. Yeah. So we're gonna share one. Today we're only gonna do some shopping for Isabelle and so the video doesn't get too boring. We're not gonna take you with us a lot, but there's one shop that we are gonna show you and that is the Nintendo store here in Shibuya. Let's check it out. Turns out the Nintendo store has to wait because you get an admission time and ours is only in like two or three hours. So we're gonna check some other stuff out first, like the Shibuya Crossing, and then we're gonna check out the Nintendo Store after. It's me, Mario! Oh my gosh, you can buy the carpet that you can use in Animal Crossing as your decoration for your home. <laughs> oh my god! After visiting Tokyo's famous Tsukiji market this morning for breakfast, we initially planned to visit Tokyo Tower for this vlog and just because we wanted to see it as well but guys we, we just can't do it we are so exhausted from these past few days we've been walking so much we've yes. been seeing so much we've been filming and photographing so much it was just too much yeah we're just done and we just can't go to Tokyo Tower we just want to go to a hotel sit down for a minute finally after days and also this was not the only video that we filmed here. We filmed two other videos, one 7-Eleven challenge and one food tour um, at the Tsuchiki market. But you're gonna see that in our next video. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so you're not missing out on our next Japan videos. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye.